With EV truck makers joining and expanding the EV market, great new electric pickups are being announced on a regular basis. Whether you're into sleek new Teslas and their features or looking forward to cool new electric pickup trucks, there are some awesome EVs on the way. So let's take a look at some of the best electric pickup trucks currently on the horizon. Without further ado, let's begin. Bollinger B2 The Michigan-based startup is fielding both an SUV B1 and a pickup B2, both priced at a hefty $125,000 for buyers who want a rugged, capable vehicle with off-road capability. The 614-horsepower all-wheel drive pickup has a targeted range of 200 miles via a 120-kilowatt-hour battery and 75-minute fast-charging capability. The four-door pickup can reach 60 miles an hour in 4.5 seconds, with speed limited to 100 miles per hour, carry 5,000 pounds, and tow 7,500. Production is to start late in 2021. Chevrolet Silverado Electric Pickup Chevy wants to show what its Ultium batteries can do, and the electric Silverado was announced with an eye-popping 400-plus mile range. It's on the same electric platform as the Hummer, and styling based on the Silverado update scheduled for next year. To be built at the Factory Zero plant in Detroit, the Silverado will be offered in various configurations from basic workhorse to bling-laden boulevardier. The truck has been delayed by COVID-19 and is now slated to appear in 2023 or 2024. Many details are still forthcoming, but there's likely to be options for the number of motors and battery size. GMC Hummer EV SUT The Hummer pickup will precede the SUV version of the truck, which has a nearly 9-inch shorter wheelbase and should be on the market by the end of next year. It will be available in several configurations with two or three electric motors and up to 1,000 horsepower and a crazy and disputed 11,500 pound-feet of torque. Engaging watts to freedom, WTF mode enables 0 to 60 times, as low as 3 seconds. Range is up to 350 miles per hour, and 800 volt DC fast charging is enabled. For off-roading, air suspension can raise the Hummer pickup 6 inches. A crab walk feature uses four-wheel steering to drive diagonally at low speeds. Payload and towing ability will be important, but it's not known yet. The launch version is the loaded $112,595 Edition 1. The $79,995 base model won't arrive until 2024. Ford F-150 Lightning This new truck will be unveiled on the evening of May 19th, and until then not much is known. Pricing is likely to be in the $70,000 to $100,000 range in a simplified lineup. The use of the Lightning name, which Ford previously attached to performance versions of the F-150, is a hint that the truck will be fast off the line, at least in some versions. Ford also promises an onboard work crew generator, as on the F-150 hybrids. President Biden drove a prototype the day before the announcement, rank hath its privilege, and it was revealed that the battery weighs 1,800 pounds. It's certainly not a secret that the Ford F-150 has continued to be America's best-selling pickup for over four decades. For the very first time in its storied history, the F-150 Lightning begins the next chapter of an all-electric future for the legendary truck. Following the principles of built Ford Tough, the F-150 Lightning makes it clear that going electric doesn't mean making compromises on the work-ready capability and dependability that made it famous. Endangered Species – Lordstown Motors Endurance The relatively low-priced $52,500 is an enticement in this pricey field. The Endurance is a product of the startup spun off from Workhorse and will be built in the former General Motors plant in Lordstown, Ohio. With a 70 kilowatt hour battery, the Endurance is said to have a 250 plus mile range, a 5.5 second 0 to 60 time, and 7,500 pounds of towing capacity. It offers all-wheel drive via four hub motors and 600 horsepower with up to 4,400 pound-feet of torque. Lordstown says it will ship the vehicle by the end of the year, but despite a 2021 model year designation, it's unclear when it will actually be on sale. 
The company, the product of an SPAC, Special Purpose Acquisition Company, merger, is being investigated by the SEC and has had teething problems, the New York Times reported. Lordstown warned June 7th that it doesn't have the cash to start production this fall, and there's substantial doubt regarding our ability to continue as a going concern, meaning Lordstown might not stay in business. Rivian R1T Rivian is an impressive American startup with huge financing, a deal with Ford, and a contract to provide Amazon with delivery trucks. The R1T, on the market in June and complementing the R1S SUV, looks good on paper, with more than 400 miles of range available and 11,000 pounds of towing capacity. The launch edition starts at $75,000, but the cheaper Explorer model will follow next year. An R1T with the optional $10,000 extra max battery pack, 135 kilowatt hours, will have 754 horsepower and 3 seconds 0 to 60 times. All R1Ts have all-wheel drive via hub motors and adjustable air suspension. Drive through 3 plus feet of water, rock crawl at a 100% grade, traverse just about any terrain with 14.9 inches of ground clearance, tow up to 11,000 pounds, with a 0 to 60 time as quick as 3 seconds, depending on your configuration, it also delivers the on-road handling of a sports car. Tesla Cybertruck Tesla is building the affordable electric pickup, since the Cybertruck will eventually be available in a $40,000 single-motor version with 250-mile range on a charge. The radically styled truck will offer, in its top-of-the-range $69,900 three-motor version, 500 miles of range and 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds. The four-door Cybertruck seats six with a 6.5-foot bed. Autopilot and adaptive air suspension are standard on the Cybertruck, which can carry 3,500 pounds of cargo and tow up to 14,000 pounds. Pricing is estimated at $40,000 to $78,000 in three versions, with one to three motors. Knowing Tesla's history, it's probably not safe to say when each iteration of the truck will be available. But we should start to see Cybertrucks, built in Texas, sometime next year. The single motor version won't be available at launch. Cybertruck is built with an exterior shell made for ultimate durability and passenger protection. Starting with a nearly impenetrable exoskeleton, every component is designed for superior strength and endurance, from ultra-hard 30X cold-rolled stainless steel structural skin to Tesla's armor glass. Already gone, Nikola Badger Another announced EV pickup truck, the Nikola Badger, died last November, five months after Nikola said it had an agreement with General Motors to design and build the truck and to possibly take a stake in Nikola. The Badger was regarded as a variant of GM's own Chevrolet Silverado and GMC Hummer EV pickups. Nikola's bigger business was developing the hydrogen-powered Nikola Semi, and that, too, was criticized as vaporware. A company valued at $29 billion is now worth less than $6 billion. Not everyone can be Tesla. Nikola had announced some tantalizing, albeit unsustainable, details. Those included a driving range of up to 600 miles, peak outputs of 906 horsepower and 980 pound-feet of torque, and an interesting array of features. The latter list was highlighted by a waterproof cabin with a hidden refrigerator as well as a water fountain that's fed by the truck's optional fuel cell system. So guys, let me know down in the comments section below which one of them you like the most. For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video.